For this project, you're going to need your H hook or 5 millimeter crochet hook, and also a pair of scissors and your tapestry needle. And the yarn colors I'm using are just a regular white. I think this is the Pound of Love white yarn. And also Red Heart with Love. And this color is Mango. And again, Red Heart with Love. And I'm using Aubergine. And also a Craft Fur, too. Derrico. All right, so we're going to start with the aubergine or the darker purple color, and we're going to do a magic circle. You're just going to drape the yarn over your four fingers and use your thumb to help stabilize it, and then just wrap it twice around your two middle fingers and hold it in place with your pinky and thumb, and then just take your crochet hook and go under the two loops, and then loop the yarn and bring it under, and then you're going to yarn over and bring it through for your first knot. And then you're going to go under again, yarn over, two loops on your hook, yarn over and bring it through both, and then you're going to chain two, one, two, and that's going to be your first double crochet. We're going to do 12 total double crochet into the magic circle. So go ahead and yarn over, go into the magic circle, yarn over, three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two, and that's two double crochet. I'm going to do a couple more with you. Just go under the magic circle, yarn over. Oh, sorry. Go back. You're going to yarn over first, then go into the magic circle, yarn over, three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and then go through two. I'm going to do one more with you. So you have a total of three double crochets so far. We're going to do a total of 12. So go ahead and yarn over, go into the magic circle, yarn over, three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. So go ahead and finish 12 double crochet into the magic circle and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, after you finish putting 12 double crochet into the magic circle, go ahead and take your forefinger and your thumb and just grip at the base of the 12 double crochet and then you have the two loops on the opposite side of the circle. You're going to grab one and pull on it. If it doesn't pull, go ahead and let go and pull on the other one. But this one's pulling and closing the circle. And then go ahead and let go and then take the loose yarn in and pull on that. Now don't worry if you don't close it all the way. We can close it later. And then we're going to do a slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet. So you just go into that first stitch and then yarn over and pull it through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch and then you could turn it over and then just pull on that loose yarn in and that'll close up the magic circle for you and now we're going to go ahead and do the next row go ahead and chain three one two and three and that's going to be your first double crochet we're going to do one more double crochet into the same stitch yarn over go into the same stitch Yarn over, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. And we're going to do two double crochet into every stitch all the way around the circle. I'm going to do one more with you. Go ahead and yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. And then you're going to do one more double crochet into the same stitch, yarn over, Go into the same stitch, yarn over, three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. Go ahead and finish doing two double crochet into every stitch all the way around, and then I'll come back and I'll show you how to move on to the next okay, row. Okay, you should be back to the beginning. We're going to do a slip stitch into the top stitch of the first double crochet. Go ahead and yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook. And now you're going to go ahead and chain three, one, two, three, and now we're going to do an increase round. So we did one double crochet in one stitch. Now in the next stitch we're going to do two double crochet. Go ahead and yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two, and then 
We're going to do another double crochet into the same stitch, yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. And then we're going to do one double crochet into the next stitch, yarn over and go into the next stitch, yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. And then we're going to do two double crochet into the next stitch, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. And then we're going to do another double crochet into the same stitch, yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. Go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around, back to the beginning, one double crochet into the next stitch, and then two double crochets into the next stitch. And then come back and I'll show you how to do the next round. Okay, now we're going to do a slip stitch into the top stitch of the first double crochet. Go ahead and yarn over and then pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. And now we're going to do one more increase round. Go ahead and chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to do two double crochet into the next stitch. Yarn over and go into the next stitch. Yarn over. Three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. We're going to do one more double crochet into the same stitch, yarn over and go into the same stitch, yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, and yarn over and go through two. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around, back to the beginning. One double crochet into the next stitch, and then two double crochet into the stitch after that. Okay, so you should be back around. Um, for mine, I have one stitch left, so I'm going to go ahead and just do a double crochet into that stitch, yarn over and just go into the stitch. If you don't have it, don't worry, you don't have to, you just, we're going to do a slip stitch in a minute. But for me, I'm just going to go ahead and do a double crochet into that last stitch. And then we're going to go ahead and do a slip stitch, go into the top stitch of the first double crochet, yarn over and pull through both. So we're going to actually do one more increase round. We're going to go ahead and chain three, one, two, three, and now we're going to do one double crochet in four stitches and then do two double crochet. So go ahead and yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. So it's actually two double crochet that have been completed so far. Do another one, yarn over, go into the third stitch, yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. And then in the fourth stitch, we're going to do one more double crochet, yarn over, go into that fourth stitch, yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. And then in the fifth stitch, you're going to do two double crochet. Go ahead and yarn over, go into the fifth stitch, yarn over, three loops on the hook, Yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. And yarn over, go into that fifth stitch, same stitch. Yarn over, three loops on the hook. Yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. So you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the beginning. One double crochet in the next four stitches, and then two double crochet in the fifth stitch. And do that all the way around. Okay, so you should be close to being back to the beginning. If you have any stitches left, I have actually had four stitches left, and I just did a single double crochet into each stitch. I have one left. Go ahead and yarn over, go into your last stitch, yarn over, three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. And then we're going to do a slip stitch into the top stitch of your first double crochet. Yarn over and pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. And now we're just going to do two rows of just single double crochet in every stitch. So for our first stitch, you're just going to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to do one double crochet in every stitch. Go ahead and yarn over. Go into the next stitch. Yarn over. Three loops on the hook. Yarn over and go through two. And then yarn over and go through two. So go ahead and finish one double crochet in every stitch and do that for two rows and then come back and I'll show you how to change colors. Okay, so you should have already finished your two rows of double crochet and one single double crochet in every stitch. Now we're going to change colors to white. Go ahead and take your crochet hook and go into the next stitch. Yarn over, 
and bring the yarn up for two loops on the hook and then take your white yarn and you're going to go ahead and hook the white yarn and bring that through the two loops on the hook. You're going to do a single crochet yarn over and go through the loop on the hook for a single crochet and then you're going to cut your previous color that you were working with and then you're just going to tie a knot and then you're going to chain two so you're going to yarn over and go through the loop on the hook for one yarn over two and now we're going to do one half double crochet into every stitch all the way around and at the same time you're going to bury the loose end of yarn that you have so go ahead and yarn over go into the next stitch and you're also going to go around the loose yarn end that you have and yarn over bring that yarn back through for three loops on your hook yarn over and go through two <clears throat> yarn over and go through all three loops on the hook for a half double crochet so you're going to yarn over go into the next stitch yarn over three loops on your hook yarn over and go through all three loops on the hook for a half double crochet and you're just going to do that in every stitch all the way around back to the beginning and then come back and I'll show you how to change to the next color okay so now we're going to do a slip stitch into the top stitch of the first half double crochet go ahead and yarn over and bring through both loops on the hook and then in the next stitch you're going to go ahead and go through the next stitch and yarn over and bring the yarn up for two loops on the hook and we're going to join with our orange yarn so go ahead and loop the yarn and bring it through the both loops on the hook and then go ahead and do a single crochet and then you're going to cut the previous yarn that you were using and then go ahead and tie a knot and we're going to go ahead and chain three one two three and that's your first double crochet and we're going to do one double crochet in every stitch all the way around and at the same time you're going to bury the two loose yarn ends that you have go ahead and yarn over go into the next stitch yarn over three loops on the hook yarn over and go through two and then yarn over and go through two and that's your second double crochet go ahead and yarn over go into the next stitch yarn over three loops on the hook yarn over and go through two and then yarn over and go through two and then keep doing the double crochet all the way around and do that for two rows and then come back and I'll show you what to do next okay so we're going to go ahead and do a slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet that you did and you should have finished two rows of double crochet and now we're going to do two more rows in the same color of um, double crochet one double crochet in every stitch go ahead and chain three one two three and then we're going to do a double crochet into the next stitch go ahead and yarn over go into the next stitch yarn over three loops on the hook yarn over and go through two and then yarn over and go through two so go ahead and do two more rows of one double crochet in every stitch and then come back and I'll show you how to change colors okay so you should have finished four rows of double crochet now we're going to switch back to white go ahead and take your hook and go into the next stitch yarn over you have two loops on your hook and then you're going to take your white yarn and you're just going to hook the white yarn 
and bring it through the both loops on the hook. And then you're going to do a single crochet. And then just take your previous yarn that you were using and cut that. And then go ahead and tie a knot. And I'm just going to tie it two more times. Make sure it stays and doesn't come loose. And we're going to do around a row of half double crochet. So go ahead and chain two, one, two. And then we're going to do half double crochet all the way around. And make sure you bury your yarn ends so you don't have to bury it later. Go ahead and yarn over. Go into the next stitch, yarn over, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through all three, and then yarn over and go into the next stitch, you're going to do another half double crochet, yarn over, three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through all three loops on the hook for a half double crochet, and I'm going to do one more with you, yarn over, go into the next stitch, Yarn over, three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through all three loops on the hook, and you just finished four half double crochet. So go ahead and continue doing one half double crochet in every stitch all the way around, and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do a slip stitch into the top stitch of your first half double crochet. Yarn over and just go through both loops on your hook, and now we're going to switch colors back to the purple. Go ahead and go into your next stitch over and then yarn over. You have two loops on the hook. Go ahead and take that darker purple and then loop it and bring it through the two loops on your hook and then do a single crochet. And then take and cut your previous yarn that you were using. And then tie a knot onto the back. And then you're going to go ahead and chain three for your first double crochet. One, two, three. That's going to be your first double crochet. And you're going to take the two loose yarn ends and make sure that you bury those as you're working. Go ahead and yarn over. Go into the next stitch. Yarn over. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. So you're going to go ahead and do two rows, one single, one single double crochet in every stitch all the way around for two rows, and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so you should have finished your two rows of double crochet. We're going to go ahead and do a slip stitch, go into the top stitch of the first double crochet, go ahead and yarn over and pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. And we're going to go ahead and finish off, yarn over and pull through and just leave enough yarn to sew into your project. And now we're going to do the ears. Okay, so on the back of your hat you can see that there's a seam that runs up the back. So what you're going to do is just make sure that you have your previous cut yarn right in the center and then you're going to go from the end here for the first ear covering or ear flap go eight double crochet in one two three four five six seven eight and go ahead and put your hook through that eighth stitch and then take your purple and orange yarn and put them together and go ahead and grab it with your hook and loop it and bring it through both loops through and you're going to do a single crochet yarn over both loops of yarn 
Turn your hook upside down and go through the loops on your hook for a single crochet and then turn your work over and you're going to take both loops and your yarn that you're sewing, you're crocheting with and tie a knot and go ahead and tie one more time to make sure it's nice and secure. You're going to go ahead and chain three one, two, three, and then you're going to do a do one double crochet into every stitch for a total of 16 double crochet. And as you work, you're going to bury your loose yarn ends into the um, work. So go ahead and yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. That's your second double crochet. Go ahead and yarn over and go into the third stitch, yarn over, three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. And go ahead and do that. One double crochet into every stitch for a total of 16, and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, your work should look like this, and you should have 16 total. So go ahead and chain three, one, two, three for your first double crochet. Go ahead and turn your work. And you can see how the work kind of loops up right here. You're not going to go into that stitch. You're going to go into the next stitch over. You're going to yarn over and you're going to do one double crochet into every stitch back across and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I'm coming back and I'm almost to the end and as you can see there are two stitches left so make sure that you get a double crochet into both of those stitches. Go ahead and yarn over and go into the next stitch. And then the last stitch And then you're going to chain one and turn. And now you're not going to do any more chains. You're going to go into the next stitch with a double crochet. So go ahead. Actually, we're going to go ahead and do a slip stitch into that next stitch. So go ahead and go into that next stitch, yarn over, and just bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch and then you're going to go ahead and chain three one two three and then you're going to do a double crochet all the way across until you get to the last two stitches and then come back and I'll show you how to do the end of the row okay so you should be at the end of the row and you have two stitches left we're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch, yarn over and just bring it through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. And then you're going to chain one and turn your work. And then you're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch over, yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook. And then you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then you're going to do a double crochet all the way across to the last two stitches and then come back and then I'll show you how to do the next row. Okay, so you should be the end, at the end of the row with two stitches left, go ahead and do a slip stitch into the next stitch. And then chain one and turn your work and then you're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook go ahead and chain three one two three 
And this is going to be your last row of double crochet. Go ahead and do one single double crochet in every stitch until you get to the last two on the row, and then I'll show you what to do. All right, so we're at the end, and we have two stitches left. We're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. Yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook. And now we're going to finish off, yarn over, and pull through just enough to sew into your project. So now, this is the back of the work again. And just make sure you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you're going to repeat the, the same thing that you did on this side on the other side. So you count over eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And just put your hook through that eighth stitch. And remember, this is the back seam. And you're going to go ahead and take your two colors and bring them through and you're going to do a chain one now you're going to go ahead and take and tie a knot with the yarn you're working with and the loose yarn ends and just tie a good knot twice then you're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then you're going to turn your work. And as you work, you're going to bury your loose yarn ends. Go ahead and yarn over. Go into the next stitch. Yarn over three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. And you're going to do that for one double crochet in the next 16 stitches, and then you're going to work this ear flap the exact same way that you just did the other ear flap. And then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so both of your ear flaps should be done. So now we're going to do the top of the hat, and you're just going to need a piece of cardboard about two and a half inches by three inches large and then you're going to take your yarn and in this case we're going to take the purple and the orange yarn and you're just going to make sure that you have starting about half halfway mark of the cardboard and let the purple and the orange yarn ends hang to the side and then you're going to take the two pieces strands of yarn and you're going to wind it around and you're just going to keep winding until you cover up the cardboard pretty well And then you're going to take and you're going to leave a large amount of yarn to tie and then just cut it and then you're going to take the yarn and hold it with your finger and pull out the cardboard and you're just going to take the yarn and wrap it around the center Make sure you tie it tight. And then you can take the loose yarn ends that you had and tie a knot. And just pull it tight in the center. And then you just want to take 
your loose yarn end and then just wrap it tight, tightly. And then tie a knot again in the center. You want to make sure that you tie it very tight so your loose yarn ends won't come out when you when you cut it. And then I just like to tie it three times. And you're going to make six of these. And then what you're going to do for the first one is you're going to take your tapestry needle and just take the loose yarn in and you're going to take that loose yarn end and just go right into the center where you started your magic circle just take and put that loose yarn in through until it's snugly on top and you're going to do that with all the loose yarn ends just put them right into the center and when you're done come back and then I'll show you what to do next okay so now I'm on the inside of the hat and all my loose yarn ends from the pom-pom are on the inside so I'm just going to take and tie a knot on the inside I just want to make sure it's nice and secure I'm going to tie it one more time And then you can take and cut you can leave a little bit on the inside it's just going to be inside so nobody will see it and then what you're going to do is take your scissors and then just cut along the folds of the yarn And you're going to do that on both sides. Until it makes a little pom-pom. And if you have a loose one, I mean a fold still, you cut it. And I have a few more on this side. So you're going to make six more of these because we're going to put one in the front and then we're going to line them down the back. So go ahead and do that and then come back and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so you should have sewn all your pom-poms on to make a little mohawk on your hat. And that's how your mohawk looks, or should look. And go ahead and then sew in all of your loose yarn ends. I've already sewn in all my other yarn ends. I'm just going to sew in the last one. And all you do is you just take the tapestry needle and just weave the yarn end into the fabric of your work. And then just cut the loose yarn and then for the beard you could either go ahead and sew buttons on the inside of the flaps just take your regular sewing needle and take two buttons and then halfway on the inner side of the flap you can sew the buttons in 
or you can just sew the beard in place with your um, crochet yarn but I'm going to go ahead and just use buttons so now we're going to go ahead and make the beard you can set aside the hat for now and I'm just going to make the beard an orange to match the hat so we're going to do our slip knot first and you're just going to take your yarn and then just fold a loop over take your crochet hook and put it through the loop and then hold it with your middle finger and your thumb and then yarn over turn the hook upside down and pull it through for your first slip knot and then go ahead and make 35 single crochet yarn over and go through the loop for one I'm going to show you eight of them yarn over two three four five six seven eight so go ahead and finish 35 single crochet and then come back and I'll show you what to do next you should have completed 35 single crochet to form a chain and now we're going to do the next row go ahead and hold on to the last stitch that you did and you're going to go ahead and chain three one two three and that's going to be your first double crochet and then we're going to take and yarn over and go into that stitch that you're holding or the fourth chain from the hook go into that stitch yarn over and we're going to do a half double crochet yarn over and go through all three loops on the hook so now all the way across we're going to do double crochet half double crochet alternating those two two stitches yarn over go into the next stitch yarn over you have three loops on the hook you're going to yarn over and go through two then yarn over and go through two for a double crochet and then I'm going to do a half double crochet yarn over go into the next stitch yarn over three loops on the hook yarn over and go through all three so you're going to alternate those two stitches the next stitch will be a double crochet and then you're going to do a half double crochet you're just going to alternate all the way back to the end and then come back and I'll show you what to do next alright so you should have reached the end and we're going to go ahead and do three chains or three single crochet one two three then go ahead and turn your work and now we're going to alternate the same thing all the way back across we're going to do a half double crochet into the next stitch go ahead and yarn over and go into the next stitch which should have been the double crochet on your previous row yarn over you have three loops on your hook yarn over and go through all three so we have a double crochet and a half double crochet completed and before we continue we're going to go ahead and fold the work in half and then take the middle stitch and put your hook through that middle stitch and we're just going to get a yarn marker I'm just going to use a piece of my um, purple yarn that I had from earlier and just pull that through so that's going to mark my spot and so we're going to skip three one two three stitches before and three stitches after the yarn marker so we're going to go back to where we were and we just finished a half double crochet so the next stitch would be a double crochet and then a half double crochet double crochet half double crochet double crochet half oh, doesn't want to go double crochet and then a half double crochet keep alternating all the way until you get to three stitches before the yarn marker so I have two more stitches double crochet 
and then a half double crochet and then we're going to chain six one two three four five six you're going to skip six stitches and you're going to be right at a double crochet on the previous row so you're going to yarn over go into that stitch and above a double crochet will be a half double crochet so you're going to yarn over and then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three for a half double crochet and then the next stitch will be a double crochet then a half double crochet and you're going to repeat your pattern all the way to the end and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, your work should look like this. So now we're going to go ahead and chain one, yarn over and then chain one and then turn your work and we're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. So in the next stitch, which won't be here, it's actually going to be right over here, you're going to go into that stitch yarn over and then just go back through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch and then you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch go into the next stitch yarn over and then just pull the, the yarn through both loops on the hook and then you're going to go ahead and on the previous row this was a half double crochet and this one is a double crochet so above the half double crochet we want to do a double crochet. So you're going to go ahead and chain three. One, two, three for your double crochet. And then we're going to do a half double crochet, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, three loops on the hook, do a half double crochet. And now you're going to alternate that pattern all the way across until you get to the end. So the next stitch will be a double crochet. And the stitch after that is going to be a half double crochet. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way back across and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I'm back across and I have two stitches left. So I'm just going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. And then I'm going to chain one and turn my work. And then I'm going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch over and slip stitch into the next stitch. And then below I have a double crochet, so I'm going to do a half double crochet. So I'm going to chain two, one, two, and then in the next stitch. I'm going to do a double crochet, yarn over, go into the next stitch, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two, and then you're just going to alternate your pattern again all the way across until you get to the last two stitches, and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. You should have reached the last two stitches, so we're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook, chain one, turn your work, and then do a slip stitch into the next stitch. And then go ahead and the previous stitch, actually we're going to do another slip stitch into the next stitch, yarn over. And then the previous stitch was a half double crochet. So we're going to do a double crochet. So you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then yarn over in the next stitch. You're going to do a half double crochet, yarn over, three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through all three. And then go ahead and alternate the half double crochet, double crochet, all the way to the last two stitches again. Okay, so again, last two stitches, we're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch, 
yarn over and pull through both, chain one, turn your work, and then you're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch, and a slip stitch into the next stitch, and then the stitch that's below you is a half double crochet in the previous row, so go ahead and do a chain three, one, two, three, and that's going to be your first double crochet. And then you're going to do a half double crochet, yarn over and go into the next stitch for a half double crochet. And then you're going to alternate the double crochet, half double crochet, all the way across to the last two stitches again. Okay, and then again we're back to the last two stitches. We're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through both loops, chain one and turn. And then we're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. And we're going to do a chain three for a double crochet because there's a half double crochet on the stitch below and then a double crochet is the next stitch on the stitch below. So go ahead and chain three, one, two, three, and then you're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch for a half double crochet, and then a double crochet. You're going to alternate those stitches back across again until you get to the last two stitches. Okay, so we're down to the last two stitches. We're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch, and then chain one, and turn your work. And now we're going to do a slip stitch into the next four stitches. So the next stitch, we're going to yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook for one. Next stitch, yarn over, pull through both for two slip stitches. Next stitch, yarn over, pull through for three. And the fourth slip stitch, and then right below we have a double crochet on the previous row, so we're going to do a half double crochet. So go ahead and chain two, one, two, and then you're going to alternate again, do a double crochet into the next stitch, stitch yarn over, three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. So you're going to alternate half double crochet, double crochet, and leave the last four unworked on this row and then come back. Okay, so you should have four stitches that are not worked and we're going to do a slip stitch into three of them. So in the next stitch you're going to yarn over and pull the yarn through both loops on your hook. Next stitch, we're going to do a slip stitch again. And then the third stitch, we're going to do another slip stitch. And then you're going to chain one and then turn your work Okay, and now we're going to do a slip stitch into the next four. So in the next stitch over, we're going to do a slip stitch. And then you're going to do a slip stitch in the second stitch. And the third stitch. And the fourth stitch. And then right below, You have a double crochet, so we're going to do a half double crochet, so you're going to chain two on the next row, one, two, and the next stitch is going to be a double crochet, yarn over, yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two. And the next stitch you're going to do a half double crochet, yarn over, three loops on the hook, and the next one's a double crochet half double crochet, double crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, half, and then the last stitch be a double crochet,
and we're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. And slip stitch into the next stitch. And a slip stitch into the third. And a slip stitch into the fourth. And then we're going to finish off. Leave enough to sew into your work. And this is how the beard looks so far. And we're just going to do a border around the beard. Actually, I don't think it needs a border. I think it looks good. So we're just going to do our braids. I'll, I'll show you how to do the three braids. Okay, so now we're going to make the braids that go at the bottom of the beard. I've already done two of them. So I'm going to show you how to make the third one. So just take your two colors of yarn, and you're going to measure out 22 inches, and then cut off the 22 inches. Once you have your yarn that's 22 inches long, you can go ahead and measure the next yarn using the 22 inch inches yarn, and then just cut the second one, and then we're going to do one more to have a total of three with the different colors, the two different colors. So once you have your third one, you're going to take the strands that you cut and you're going to take your crochet hook and go into the very last stitch on the beard because you're going to put one on the bottom of the corner of the beard, one in the middle, and then one on the other corner of the beard, the bottom corner. And you're just going to take and hook the yarn and bring all of the yarn strands through. Let's have two more. And then once the yarn strands are through, just make sure that they're even. And then you're going to tie a knot. Make sure you get all the strands to go through. And then just tie it one time into a knot. And then you're going to divide it into three. So there's going to be at least a couple oranges and two of the purple in each strand. And then once you have it divided up into three, take each strand and you're going to braid it. So you just keep crossing it over into a braid. And then once you have it the same size braid as the others, you're going to take a piece of the purple yarn and you're going to tie a knot at the bottom. And this one you want to tie really tight. And then just tie it three times to make sure you have a really good knot there. And then you can just fold the purple down. And then you're just going to take 
and make sure that all of them are even. And then you have your three braids at the bottom of the beard. Now you could either sew the beard onto the hat or use the buttons, which I'm going to use the buttons. So I'm going to use, I'm going to take my crochet hook and go into the top left corner of my beard and then take the orange colored yarn and just loop the yarn through. And you're going to do a single crochet yarn over and then you're just going to tie a knot on the back and then you're going to go ahead and chain four one two three four and then you're going to do a slip stitch into the same corner, yarn over, and then just pull the yarn through both stitches, and then yarn over for a finish off. Just leave enough to sew into your work. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. And then sew in your loose yarn ends and come back, and then we'll see the finished product. Okay, so here's your finished product. And I decided to go ahead and put a couple braids on the top of the beanie, right where the ear flap starts. So if you decide you like that too, you could add those in up there. And this is your sports cap with the beard and braids.